haven't thought about your back to school shopping yet, you might want to start tomorrow. That's because you'll pay no sales tax on specific items, that is. KCCI's Cynthia Fodor shows us what you can save on and what you cannot. It's new at five. It's a, it's a big saving. Jamie Prather has four kids in school and waits for the sales tax holiday every year. I would say it could be a savings as much as 50 or $60 per child. Stores are getting ready. Walmart has these signs up on the items on which you'll pay no sales tax. The economy is tough and we want to make sure that they have all the advantages they can get in order to send their kids back to school affordably. You will save on clothes. A good time to stock up on jeans, socks, and underwear. Even items like team jackets for Christmas presents. Surprisingly, prom dresses are included and even diapers. If you spend $400, that's a $24 savings. 6% is a lot, so you know, 20, 30, 40 bucks, that's a big deal. A lot of Iowa families. But many parents are upset that back to school essentials are not on the list. You will pay tax on notebooks, pens, and backpacks. No breaks on athletic jerseys, baseball pants, or team uniforms. I don't usually do it on the tax free weekend. I price match and use coupons if I can, which typically brings it down less than the tax free weekend is anyway. And you don't have to be going back to school. Adults can buy clothing too and save the tax on any item under $100. Cynthia Fodor, KCCI A News. Iowa's news leader. That sales tax holiday always runs the first Friday and Saturday in August.